So, what sort of things play on your mind when you're on a narrowboat, a traditional steel one anyway? Obvious thing is water. Uh, is it coming in? That's the big one. Will it come in? That's the next one. And related to that, connected to that, is rust. Uh, most narrowboats um, are steel construction. There are wooden ones, there are fiberglass ones, there are aluminium ones, but the mass majority are steel. And the age of boats on the British waterways uh, varies considerably. So some are obviously brand new and some are very old. Some have been had remedial work done to them. But all in all, uh, rust is a big issue. Um, the one thing you're likely to see people doing on walking along the canal, if they're actually doing something as opposed to sitting and looking like they're having a nice time or perhaps driving the boat, is sanding um, and sanding and more sanding and then a bit of painting. So it's a really big thing. The thing about that is that narrow boats are pretty big. And you don't have to just worry about the outside either, um, you can get leaks inside. So I've had an issue with uh, my boat. Um, it was a long standing issue, I believe, because of the damage it did. And the problem was under the sink. The, the two outgoing pipes, steel pipes through the hull, have um, PVC type hoses attached so they can connect to the plumbing. And what happens is the rust over years swells and expands and just pops through and splits the uh, PVC pipe. So, um, awkward to get to um, and de-rust uh, a pipe that's sticking out underneath your sink behind everything and at arm's reach. So I've decided to try um, a magic way to get rid of rust. And the magic way to get rid of rust is to use electricity. Um, all you need is water. Um, some of this stuff, which is washing soda. It's not bicarbonate soda, it's washing soda. You can get them in the supermarkets. Um, I think it's about the only type you can probably find available. Uh, in America, they, you'll see um, if people do videos in America, they use, say, Arm & Hammer. That's a brand over there. So one of the problems is that if you're in the UK, you, you watch all of these uh, YouTubes on how to remove rust with electrolysis it's called. Um, they'll always refer to arm and hammer which means absolutely nothing to us because we don't just don't have it. So yeah, um need to spy. Uh, DP dry pack. So yeah, it's a very old washing um, chemical. It's a very basic chemical. And it's um it says, causes eye irritation, keep out of reach of children, wash hands thoroughly after handling, wear protective gloves, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, it's not the most toxic of um, things, it's not like using battery acid, it's going to eat you. Right, okay. So, the traditional way to get rid of rust is to remove it physically, and you sand it, grind it, chip it. Um, shot blast it, that sort of thing. But there's another way of doing it, and that's to use um, electricity to do the work. And electricity is far better than any of the above methods because electricity will actually work down at the microscopic level. So, electrolysis is pretty simple. I won't go into the chemistry of it. All you need to know is that what you connect to the positive lead, the plus, will rust or erode. And what you connect to the negative will do the opposite. So if it's rusty, the rust will be released, dissolved, removed, or converted if it's actually still in contact. It will be converted to steel or whatever iron. So why is electrolysis so good? Well, the thing about electrolysis is it can get into nooks and crannies you can't, not with any of the above methods. It's great for small individual objects. Most people use it for things you can dip and, and submerge. Um, what I want to use it on is things that are already in place, things that are a part of my boat, things I can't actually just detach and stick in a bucket. So I'm working out ways to do that. 
And the biggest challenge, I thought, would be the pipes under the sink, because there's no way you can actually submerge those in liquid and do it the traditional way. So I've come up with another idea with that. The other thing about electrolysis is, um, I haven't tried it yet, but I believe that it is also extremely good at only removing rust, but it removes paint. So if this works out um, on the interior of the boat, I might try it in the odd part of the boat exterior and see whether it's going to save me the time of sanding down paint and the rust and see whether it can actually uh, do the job. Obviously the boat's a massive size, but maybe in a localised situation where you just want to do a patch um, it could actually be quite a good solution. So you've just been watching me dismantle the faulty pipe work and uh, abrading and attacking the uh, rusty pipe. Uh, this is just one of them I've uh, went through. This was a sink, um, sink pipe. Um, a lot of loose rust just fell off when I was uh, rubbing it with the paper tissue but I did try and give it a bit of a sand and a bit of a file. It gives you an idea of just how difficult it is to do these things by hand in that kind of location as it's coming through the, um, the wooden panelling. Um, it's very difficult to get access into there, it's right behind the waste pipe of the sink. This is my solution. There are cotton swabs with some masking tape, stringing them together and then some plastic coated copper wire uh, to twist round to hold them in place. And then the carbon rods which are going to be the anodes, the sacrificial anodes, I got those off eBay. Um, they are ideal because carbon is um, less likely to cause the final product to rust. It doesn't look bright steel when it's finished, it looks blackened, uh, almost like japanned. Now it's time to put some of this solution, which is the washing soda, um, dissolved in water until it can't take any more to dissolve. I used a laptop cell, um, that's nominally 3.6 volts. Um, I didn't have anything protecting the circuit with it, um, should really have had something like a 4 ohm resistor. And that was the current it was taking, 0.12 amps, it's close up of the uh, carbon rods. And that's the negative terminal connected to uh, a sanded off part of the other pipe to complete, complete the circuit. I just used, used ordinary uh, mains copper cable to twist round. I did a little bit more liquid because that helped boost the current because it wasn't really taking the current. This was about um, four hours later, so I had to take them off. Um, the carbon rods had to dissolve slightly and, and they blackened the cotton swabs. The result, at first I was a bit disappointed because I thought, oh it looks all rusty and black. But in actual fact, at this point, I noticed that um, when I wiped it, even though I thought it got all the rust off, huge chunks of rust just fell away. It was almost like the um, you know sort of the pixies had come along and sprinkles of dust on it, and all the um, all the rust can now just be released and uh, just wiped off it. Um, I was quite amazed at the amount that came off, considering I'd already taken a lot off physically. That's just me cleaning up, and that's the end result. You can actually see it's rusted all the way through near the neck of the pipe. Um, it didn't worry me too much. That's what came off, and I thought that was quite. Um, quite interesting significant. All in all I was very pleased with the end result um, and it's a great relief to know that when I'm using the sink or using any of the, uh, the shower etc I'm not putting a whole load of water down below my deck uh, which is what was happening before and um, yeah I just got some pipes and uh, jubilee clips from uh, my local Chandler. So thanks for watching and ra till next time.